Welcome back to the channel guys. You've all seen that empty MDF carcass sitting on my miter station. That's kind of a catch off for most of my hand tools. Well, for today's project and video, I went ahead and added some sliding doors to it. Super easy project that you can knock out in maybe an hour or two. In my case, all I had to do was take the cabinet apart, add some dados to the top and bottom shelf, cut the doors down to size, put the cabinet back together, slide the doors right in. The doors themselves are made out of Luon. I had it laying around in my garage for my last project and I figured they'd make really good doors. But as far as the cabinet as a whole, I would like to add a few more things. I'd like to add support material down the middle on the inside so I can add adjustable shelves. As far as kicking things off and making the cabinet a little more organizer friendly, I figured doors would be the first thing to knock off that list. So stick around for the video and I'll show you how I did it. All right, so now that we have the cabinet disassembled, we'll take the top and the bottom of the cabinet, and take them over to the table saw. We're gonna make some dados to act as tracks for the doors. And as far as for the width of the dado, we'll just uh, go a little bit bigger than this Luan. This Luan measures to about 3 16 so we'll go maybe a 16th bigger than that, and that should allow for them to run freely.
Doors are in, slide well. As far as handles, we'll just drill a couple of holes with a portion of it for your finger to go in so you can slide them back and forth. And just like that, my cabinet has sliding doors now. So like I said, I've had this cabinet just laying around. It was on my mitre station. It didn't have doors. It just basically acted as a shelf for, you know, catching all the tools and dust. So then I saw the Luan that I had laying around the shop that I used from the last project. And I figured I'd make sliding doors. I would have liked to make the doors out of half inch material, but I had the little one just hanging around in the garage. I wasn't going to use it for anything else. I didn't have inch material or any sheet material, any lumber. It's very expensive right now. This is a super quick and easy project that I decided to knock out in an hour or two. There's still some extra stuff that I would like to add to the cabinet, but for that, I really will have to go buy more material. For what I want to add to it, I want to add a center support down the middle. That way I can add shelves, maybe adjustable shelves on each side. That way I can set the shelves at whatever height that I need for depending on whatever tools I'm gonna to put in there, if they're too high or too low, and just you know get a little more organization out of it. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos like this. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any video uploads. Also, be sure to follow me on my other social medias. I'll leave links to those in the description down below. Again, thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.